Hi everyone, my name is Rodney Smith. I'm here with Board Game Geek, and I'm also here with Mike Ritchie from Rather Dashing Games, and you've brought a game with you. It is Wakening Lair. Which gives us a little clue as to what's happening. We have a lair that's wakening up, doesn't it? We sure do. Yeah? Okay. Uh, it's uh, the Rather Dashing's uh, version of our Dungeon Crawl. Tried and true uh, genre. Yes. Uh, we want to do something a little bit different. This is actually the game I wanted to play since I was 15. Oh, really? I've always so wanted... this is a game that you've wanted to play all yes. this time. Okay. And a lot of my uh, gaming group and friends growing up wanted something like this. Right. Uh, so this is... It comes in at a low price point because there's a lot of dungeons out there that are awesome, but they're 80, sure. 100, 120. Right. Uh, this comes in low, and it's... Um, I would say it's a good introduction to dungeoneering, but at the same time, we have d and like, pro d and players play it as their light party version right, one okay. they can play with everyone But else. something you can also potentially play with a uh, younger audience as well? My six-year-old son, um, he needs help with the math, yes. but since it's fully cooperative, he uh, he's, he's great at it, Okay, actually. good point. This is fully cooperative. We're mm -hmm. working together here. That was actually the, um, that was the main selling point for us, because a lot of times when we boil fantasy themed stuff down, we take that cooperative away. Right. And we want to make sure that this is so okay. the two to six player cooperative is the key thing to this. So what are, what are we effectively doing here? All right. So you know, there's you've got your dungeon. You so call this, the this is the dungeon trail here. Your dungeon right okay. here. There, the big bad is back there. Okay. Uh, when we walk in, first we would all select a hero. All of our heroes come um, male and female. Right. Yep. Male, and female. male and female here. Okay. Right. Male, and female. Uh, other than that, the stats are all the same. Yes. And everyone has uh, a class, your base attacks, your hit points, and your special powers. Okay. So we as a team... Will, so everyone's unique. Everyone's got a unique. Everyone's unique. Okay. So we as a team need to work together to op get through this dungeon because it's randomly going to start to wake up the dungeons. When a room awakens, this is uh, a grievous room and it has two monsters. We have to randomly put two monsters in the monster death pit. Okay, right. I see. All so right. it's, it's, we're, we're racing the clock. Right. So we're pushing our The longer we take, the more of these are going to wake up anyway. Right. Okay. They're going to wake up anyway. They're going to populate. Monsters right. are going to come. Right. Uh, because we need to get there. Yes. Uh, as we level, we slay monsters. You know, we use die rolls. Uh, there are ways to mitig uh, mitigate uh, enemy die rolls. There's ways to buff you and things like that. Right. Like typical uh, dungeon crawling things. The wizard can teleport heroes around the dungeon. So teleport me to this room because I do frost damage. You know that? All right. As we so we should be planning our turns a little bit together. There's ways for us to work together here to make Absolutely. it Absolutely. Okay. As we gain treasure, all of the treasure cards are double-sided. Right. right. So the treasure cards have a weapon and a magic item. If the weapon is good for your hero, yes. take it. If it's not, take the magic item. Oh, so everything could, should be usable then, right? Everything so if you get the barbarian who maybe doesn't want magic so much, then take it right. for the weapon side. Exactly. How do I keep track of which which one I'm, I've got in front of me? You it's how they slide in. Oh, as you cover up the side that you're not uh -huh. going to be and using. And you just build your hero out there. Very cool. Or right. I can hang on to it. It's like, this is not good for me. I've got good weapons. I've got good magic items. I'm going to wait till I get to a room with you. And I'm going to make sure you get this one. Okay. Um, so we just level that one. Eventually, it's preloaded that this happens. The monstrous terror awakens. Okay. Because we're gonna be facing a bunch of little guys. Yeah, these are just these yep. are just your cannon fodder. Yep. Eventually, one of uh, six different. Oh, look at these big bad guys. These are like double double layered boards uh -huh. here, right? Yeah. Okay. Uh, these will wake. One of these guys will wake up. Yes. And every turn, they will move one room towards the dungeon entrance. Okay. So they're going this way. All the monsters with them. <laughs> okay, great. Right. They create their posse and leave it. All right. Uh -huh. If he gets out, we lose. If one of us dies, we lose. All right. The only way to save the village is to uh, take out the monster's terror. And we can't attack the big bad until the, the room is empty of other minions, right? So as he's dragging people with, we got to like, slay them and deal damage to him. And what, what is the purpose of these little cutouts here and the depressions? So each of these represents a damage zone. Yeah. And uh, damage zones correlate with the rules that you could almost pretend this was five monsters. Okay, just okay, from I got gotcha. Pure yep. mechanics yep. standpoint. Um, but that's where the team play comes in. So if you played... Um, Witch. Yes. The witch can teleport monsters. So not the big one, but the little ones. Yes. So the witch can say, "I'm going to teleport all those monsters out of there." So, so the start barbarian things. can start hitting him. Smart. Okay. And so on. The bard will say, "I'm not going to attack this turn. I'm going to sing and make the barbarian strong." Okay. Sure. Right. So how long is a game of this uh, typically? Take? Half hour to forty minutes. And, and how many? How many people can play? Two times. times. Okay. And so we've and we also got a bunch of other wooden tokens here as well. These represent other. The, that's who you are. So if you'll notice on the, on the hero. You got the little wizard Simple. hat, so you take the wizard, the wizard hat one. 
and uh, that would be your, your marker for your hero. And is this something that is available right now? Is this something that's on its way to distro? That's interesting. This was supposed to come out in March. Okay. Um, there was a. We're not in March right now. It's not March. No. Nope. Uh, there was a uh, acquisition phase we went through yes. where we're now owned by someone as a Catalyst Inlet. Okay. And so that put some things on pause. Right. But right. This is on its way to distribution as we speak. So we're looking at probably September 1st friendly local games. Course. Okay. Is this something we'll look out September 1st? Yes. They will pick up Awakening. Awakening Lair. Thank you so much for the overview. Really appreciate that. Hopefully you enjoyed. For the next episode, thanks for watching.